I'm Amanda, a naturalist with Oakland County Parks and Recreation's Nature Education Team. And I want to thank you today for purchasing the Oakland County Parks and Recreation's virtual make and take eco slides, slides, photos, and more kit. Um, in your kit, you will find quite a few different things. Uh, most of them are going to be slides. Uh, for those of you who may not have known, uh, slides were a type of photography that was used um, to project on a larger screen so that you could share your photos with a lot of people at the same time. Uh, and it was PowerPoint before PowerPoint. So in your kit, you will have a handful of slides that have had nothing done to them. Uh, you can pick four of these for our candle holder craft. You'll also find some slides that have had holes drilled in them. Uh, so you should have two slides that are plastic uh, framed that should have three holes drilled in across the top. And you will also find one that has had two holes drilled in. So for our first craft, so in order to prepare this kit, the ones that had holes drilled into them, all I did was take a power drill uh, with the smallest bit that I had on hand. And I put something underneath it. Um, I actually used a Pringle can when I was starting, uh, when, I, when I made the kits here. And what I did was, um, for the pendant piece, we drilled two holes. And that was just on a, a lower power. And I kind of eyeballed it to be at the end of the photo and um, directly across from one another. And then for the uh, pocket notebook one, I just simply added a third hole in the center. So in your kit, you also have a two by two square tile and you can get these um, in a one foot by one foot section and they're just glued together with this little um, silicone bits um, like you would use them to, to make a tile for your kitchen or backsplash or your uh, shower or what have you. And so you get a lot of these for about $5. And you'll notice that in your kit, you have one that has nothing on the back, and then you have one that happens to have a magnet, um, just gorilla glued on the back. Um, that's what I had at my house. <laughs> and so this, um, this tile you will have uh, for the candle holder craft, which we're going to start with. Also in your kit, you will have two jump ring uh, jewelry findings. Um, another thing that you can use in place of those, if you don't happen to have those, I found a big package of 50 of them for like a dollar at Michael's on clearance a while back. So I had them on hand for this kit. That's what Eco Friends is all about. Things that you have at your house that you've already purchased and just using them up, right? Um, and so uh, instead of jump rings, you can use floral wire, you can use um, any kind of craft wiring, jewelry wire. Um, you could use something like even a bread tie if you get all the paper parts off of it. Um, anything 
that is a wire, basically. So we have this tile um, and we have four of our slides that we're going to use. Uh, I did leave any of the labels that were on the slides on them, just in case you wanted to know what your slides had on them. Uh, if you'd like to take them off, you can peel them off. You can use just a little bit of rubbing alcohol will help get any of the label residue off. Hand sanitizer if you don't have rubbing alcohol. If you want to keep them, if you think they're cool and you want to know what they are, by all means do that. And I've just got um, a small bottle of glue here. I usually do use hot glue because I'm very impatient and I don't like to wait for things to dry. Um, but if you have school glue or tacky glue, that works as well. Just remember you have to set it and forget it uh, and let it have time to dry and to get down there. So we will start by just putting some glue along one edge. Now the good thing about slides is that they are squares. So if you wanted to put some that are portrait layout and some that are landscape layout, or I'm sorry, portrait landscape, um, you can mix it up. You can put maybe two and two, or you can do um, whatever you choose. You can put one on there like that. And then we basically make a cube. Um, so we'll put more glue along the bottom edge and then along the edge of the slide. And then see, so this is a howling coyote. So I'll put it just like that. We'll glue just along the edge. And then you can see here, we'll be gluing all three sections on this one. And then this candle holder would be um, appropriate for a tea light. Uh, so we do have a ceramic bottom and you could use an electric tea light, obviously, if you um, have any concerns about it being a, a fire hazard or anything, uh, like any other candle, right? Um, but you also would use a tea light that's already in like a little metal cup. Um, so that would keep the wax from coming in contact with the actual slides. And so then we have our holder. So here we can see our candle holder at work. Um, with a not very bright electric candle. Uh, if you're using a candle in a completely dark room, then it might project some of the colors from your slides onto your tabletop as well, which is pretty cool. For the pendant, you will want the slide that has um, two holes in it. I'm going to be using the three hole slide as my example. Um, because I didn't put together a kit for myself ahead of time. <laughs> uh, and so before making this video, and so I'm just going to reuse this same slide for the next project as well. Um, and so what we're going to do is basically ignore this middle hole for now. And so with the jump rings, if you're making these um, after you're done with your kit and you have other slides at home that you want to use, um, you can always just use some, some jewelry wire or some floral wire, like I said, and you're just going to kind of, and you're just going to kind of snip off a piece of that and curl it into 
a, a little jump ring itself. Um, and so you would just kind of spin that around so that it looks like a tiny little keychain ring. Uh, it's easier if you do have some kind of pliers, like needle nose pliers or something like that. And basically for the jump rings, um, you can also just like with a keychain holder, sometimes a staple remover will also help to get it in there. Um, but you're just going to start it out on the little slide. And just spin it around until you have the um, the jump ring through your hole. And then just keep turning it until it is completely inside. And so my hole, I think on my sample one here is not quite as close to the edge or my jump rings a little smaller than the ones that were in your kits. Um, no worries, we'll just kind of use our sample thing. I did not add um, anything to make it the full necklace. Um, this is just the pendant portion because there are so many, there's no way for me to know how long you want it or um, what the right size would be. And there's so many different things that you could string it on. So you could use something like, um, you could use a chain uh, to put through here or you could use a, whereas you could use a string, um, you could use like a velvet cord, you could use a piece of leather, um, whatever you decide. And then you just, voila. And to our pocket notebook. For this one, you will need the two slides that have three dr holes drilled in them the half pipe cleaner and the little packet of paper uh, that has holes in it. And we're going to make a very tiny two inch by two inch pocket notebook, um, just perfect to put one little phone number in. Um, it's kind of like a, a post-it note that stays with you in book form. Uh, again, this is Eco Friends. So we are reusing things that we already have hanging around. Uh, you may or may not recognize this blast from the past is printer paper from when the paper had the perforated edges. Um, so this also makes it perfect for a little pocket notebook if you wanted to rip out a page here and there um, because it is perforated and you can just rip it right out. All right. So what we're gonna do is just use our slides as the cover for our pocket notebook by lining up the holes and your paper should be fairly well lined up. Uh, hopefully it didn't jostle too much during transport. We can use our pipe cleaner or Chanel stem as our spiral. So we stick it through one hole. So we'll put it through one hole. First hole, all the way through. And then we just kind of curve it around. And give it a little space here so that the pages can turn. And then we turn this one through the covers and through the paper. Start it through. other cover I'm giving it just a little bit of space so that we can turn it around
again, the, it, the pipe cleaner, the Chanel stem does not have to be um, any pliable wire would work. So even here, this is again where you could use a twist tie, a bread tie. Um, you could use that floral wire again, but Chanel stems are something that every nature center seems to have on hand. And so that is what I chose to use. In hindsight, maybe not the best option. <laughs> All right, and then you just kind of thread that through with some space again, so that you can turn freely. Also did not line this one up properly. And then we just kind of end that with a little pinch. And then you could just use scissors to cut that off if you wanted. Uh, you could thread it through the center. Just for a little added stability. And then you've got a very tiny pocket notebook. Perfect. I'm always looking for the smallest piece of paper that I can use um, just to write like one little tiny thing on. So this is the perfect size for me for like that one phone number that I need to write down um, when I'm listening to voicemail messages or something like that. So that is what we have for that. And so for our and more, uh, portion of this program, what we can do is you can use either a photograph um, or if you wanted to just take one of the pictures out of the slide out so you don't have the frame anymore, uh, what you can do is you can use that white tile with the magnet on it or any white tile. And you can use just a little bit of the glue. And if you use a tacky glue or a white school glue, um, you might just wanna put a little bit into a, a deli cup um, or a little container of some kind with a little bit of water in it just to dilute it. And you can use just a napkin. You, don't, you can use a paintbrush. Um, or a makeup sponge or something like that. But you can also just use a napkin to just smear it on there. Uh, if you have Mod Podge, you can use that as well. But as long as you have a glue that generally dries clear, um, other than hot glue in this instance, I know hot glue is my favorite, but not this time. Just take your glue with a little bit of water, um, very little water or Mod Podge or what have you. And you're just gonna glue right on top and just smear it right on top of that slide or photograph um, or photo negative onto the tile. Now we're doing this with the slides on the two by two uh, tile. You would wanna cut down if you had a bigger picture or you could use a larger tile. You can find those also at the hardware stores, um, Home Depot or Lowe's or what have you. And uh, you can use them not just for magnets. Uh, you could just put a little blob of felt on the back and use it as a coaster. Uh, you could just put a wall hook on it and hang it on the wall, like a picture hanging uh, frame, a picture hanging hook on the back and hanging on the wall just as a different way to display your photographs. So you could use the same process of drilling the holes, um, except you would drill a small hole in the middle of each side. If you wanted to make something like a lampshade, um, you would need the frame of a lampshade for whatever you were using. And then you would just use jump rings to connect each slide to the one next to it on all four sides. And you could also 
use that same process to connect it and make um, a curtain. That would be kind of cool. So that when the sun's shining through a window, what you see is a bunch of the colors off of the slides. Um, good too, if you have a lot of slides that aren't the best quality, if they're a little blurry or out of focus, all it's going to give you is kind of the idea of the colors. Um, so that's a great way to, to use them um, instead of putting them in a landfill. Um, thank you so much for using the Oakland County Parks and Recreation's virtual make and take kit and watching our video. Be sure to show us anything that you make using your slides on our Facebook page and other social media. And we hope you have a great day.